What's up, family? Senor Cigar, here you are, wherever you are. Hopefully you're healthy and safe and all that. Um, it is Thursday. Mm. It is the day after. Um, yesterday I celebrated my 67th birthday. And, and before we get into anything, before... You got to do the usual. If you hear music in the background, you probably do. Do not own the rights to the music, not playing the music, got nothing to do with the music. Music is being provided by the establishment. Once again, do not own the rights to the music, not playing the music. I got nothing to do with the music. Music is being provided by the establishment, and that particular establishment is Davidoff of Geneva in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. I'm on vacation. I'm in my happy place putting some smoke in the air today. First time smoking this, you guys know that I love the asylums. This is the Asylum 7 by 70 but it's the Corojo. First time smoking it, enjoying it. Seems to be very nice, yeah. And uh, got that San Pellegrino blood orange sparkling water in the fancy glass, and you know why. And there's a story behind the San Pellegrino, which I will get to momentarily. Uh, but let me start out by saying thank you to every single person who reached out to me yesterday, whether it's through uh, whether it was uh, through a phone call or a text message or a social media message or or uh, however way you got in touch with me to wish me a happy birthday, uh, I'm still getting messages from people, uh, and every year I just get overwhelmed by the response and and the people who reach out to me through all the periods of my life, from uh, people I went to elementary school with, high school, college, uh, my total work career in, in radio, which spans over 40 years, uh, my current situation with WNYC radio, which, which crosses over 30 years, and, uh, and, and some of the names that come back and and it's like, man, it's so nice that you remembered me. Uh, thank you all so very much. Thank you to everyone who blessed me with a cigar. This is part of this is part of the birthday stash. I'm, I'll be smoking the birthday stash for a little while. Thank you all so much, and uh, a special thank you to uh, Chanisa and Sadiq. They brought me a six pack of San Pellegrino. <laughs> Blood orange sparkling water. Thank you guys so very much for that. You know it will be consumed and uh, happily consumed. So thank you guys for that. Thanks to everybody who uh, showed up at Davidoff yesterday. Uh, it just blows my mind. And I'm just so very grateful and thankful to everybody who uh, made the effort, who uh, took time out of their schedule to wish me a happy birthday. So thank you all so very much. Uh, I just don't have any other words, but thank you. All right. So now let's get to doing what we do. Shout out to the medical professionals, the first responders, EMS workers, police and fire, postal workers, MTA workers, delivery people, truck drivers going across the country, the mom and pop shop owners, the bodega shop owners, the laundromat owners, anybody who is considered or deemed essential personnel for the duration of the pandemic and moving forward. Thank you for what you have been doing for the duration uh, of the pandemic and moving forward. Thank you for taking chances with your own health and safety for the health and safety of all of us in this city, in this state, in and around this country, what you have been doing. It is so greatly appreciated saying thank you is not enough, but we do start out by saying thank you for everything you have been doing for the duration of the pandemic and moving forward. And of course, you know, I'm always going to remind you to please check in on the elders of your family, your family and friends who live alone. They need to hear from you. They need to know that they are not alone. They need to know that somebody out there loves them. So please get in touch with them any way you can, whether it's through a phone call, a text message, social media, video chat, Zoom, house party, Google Duo, FaceTime, Skype, and remind the people within your circle of friends to do that very same thing. Get in touch with their elders and their family and friends who live alone. Why? Because no one needs to be alone at this particular time in our lives. 
absolutely no one. So please take the time, make the time, reach out to them, find out how they're doing, see if they need anything, see if there's anything you can do for them. If this is someone you profess to love, then this should not be a problem, fam, because it is all about support. And while we talk about support, let us not forget about all those fine ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful people that own those great mom and pop shops, those great small businesses, those wonderful cigar shops and lounges in the tri-state area. They need our support now more than ever as well. Whether it's a shop where you can come in, make a purchase, grab and go, or maybe it's a lounge, kind of like Davidoff, where you can come in, make your purchase, find a spot to plop, sit back, relax, light up, put some smoke in the air like so. Watch me now. We got to touch it up. Got to touch it up just a little bit. I was doing more talking than smoking, right? Shame on you, senor. But I got to talk to you, right? There you go. That's more like it. Maybe you're going to uh, pair that fine tobacco product with your drink of choice, whether it be an adult beverage or a soft drink. Once again, that is your choice. And maybe even have a conversation with another brother and sister of the leaf, but family, none of that can be done unless you make the effort to go to that mom and pop shop. So that means you're going to break open your piggy bank, fellas, open up the wallet, Blow the dust out, pull out some dollar, dollar bills, y'all, and make your way to that mom and pop shop. Whether you drive down there, or maybe, just maybe, you're going to use a car service of some kind, or you're going to use mass transit, get on the bus or the iron horse, or maybe you're going to use your bicycle or your e-bike or your moped or your mm, 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 motorcycle or a skateboard or a pogo stick. Or roller skates. I said roller skates and make your way down to that mom and pop shop. And when you get there, you walk right in. You say, to the fine tobacconist behind the counter because, well, they're going to help you make your selection. They're going to help you with your purchase, right? Then you walk right into that humidor. Oh, oh, oh that humidor. It's filled with all that fine tobacco from all those wonderful countries like Nicaragua, Dominican Republic, Costa Rica. I mean, I mean, I mean Puerto Rico, right? All those wonderful cigar, uh, tobacco growing countries. It smells so good in there. You're going to walk around, you're going to see what's on the shelves, then you're going to make your selection and then step right up to that cash register and make it rain, baby. Make it rain. You're gonna spend a few dollars to keep their cash register ringing and their doors open because it is all about support. Hashtag support mom and pop shops, hashtag support small business, hashtag support black business, hashtag support Latino business, hashtag support small business family. We are all in this together and we need each other now more than ever and it is the right thing to do so take the time make the time get out there seek out those wonderful small businesses those mom and pop shops those great cigar shops and lounges in the tri-state area and show your support all right all right now so now i told you i'm on vacation enjoying my vacation enjoying hanging out with my brothers and sisters leaf putting some smoke in the air but what about you you're getting ready to get off work if you've already gotten off work so what's the plan for tonight what you going to do maybe a nice romantic dinner with your significant other maybe uh you want to go to a bar hang out with some friends throw some back pound some down maybe just maybe you're going to go to that mom and pop shop that great small business that wonderful cigar lounge in the tri-state area to put some smoke in the air, hang out with your brothers and sisters of belief, and show some support. Or maybe you got tickets to see a movie or a Broadway show or a concert or a comedy show. Maybe you decided you want to go sing some karaoke, family, whatever you got planned for tonight or any night moving forward. Make sure that a part of that plan is staying safe. Stay safe so you can stay healthy so you can stay alive. The coronavirus pandemic is quote unquote over. 
but the coronavirus is still out there. And you've got to do everything within your power to make sure you do not contract COVID-19. And a part of staying safe and healthy is staying hydrated. Whenever you go out, have that bottle of water, that lemonade or that iced tea or whatever you need to stay refreshed and hydrated. I'm telling you, fam, take it from Senor Cigar. You will thank me later for that bit of advice. So please. Whenever you go out, have that plan. Three steps. All right? Stay safe so you stay healthy so you can stay alive. All right, fam. I'm going to wrap it up for today so I can continue to enjoy this fine tobacco product. This Asylum 13 Corojo 7 by 70 I'm smoking the big sticks. I was blessed with a lot of big gauge cigars for my birthday. I'm so happy, and I'm going to take care of all of that all of that all right so fam mm. oh. please don't forget uh check in on the elders your family your family and friends who live alone they need to hear from you they need to know that they're not alone they need to know that someone loves them they need to know that together we are going to get through this and yes we are going to get through this Hashtag support mom and pop shops. Hashtag support small business. And if you are indeed going out, make sure you've got that plan. Stay safe so you can stay healthy so you can stay alive. That is it. That is all I got. I am that man. Senor Cigar, enjoying my fine tobacco product. Pop in my collar because I can. And as always, I want to wish you long ashes. And better days. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your Thursday. At some point, I do hope you'll be able to put some smoke in the air. You know I love you like a fat kid loves cake, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Hope to talk to you again real soon, but in the meantime, Paolo, if you hear me, and once again, thanks to everybody who reached out and blessed me with uh, cigars and everything for my birthday. Thank you all so very much. Yeah, baby.